All right, you new tube nerds. This is what we're trying out today. Ha! Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah. That's right. Joyo Zombie Two. I've seen. I've seen less than a handful. Oops. I've seen less than a handful of videos that really don't go over all the capabilities of this amp. They go over the basic sound demos and they're like, well, well, maybe if I put an EQ in the loop or maybe if I add a boost. All right, so check this out. I just turned it on. I haven't even played through this yet, but I do have the pedal board hooked up as well as, I should probably move that, but I do have my Sonic Cake EQ, 10 band EQ pedal in the effects loop. It is off, it is not on, nothing is on. I don't even have a noise gate on. So we're gonna try this out and see what happens. <sighs> oh, we got volume. Oh, I am using the H&K 212 with Vintage 30s. It is a 16 ohm cab. Uh, Joyo does state that you can use, the, ideally you wanna use an eight ohm cab for maximum power output or for the most efficient power output. Uh, but since I don't have an eight ohm cab, it's going into the 16 ohm, but they say it's perfectly fine. You just won't get the full capability of, you don't get the raw punch. clean channel, no gain, just volume. Okay, so right out of the box, I noticed that it's actually, it has like a little bit of a warm quality to it. I'm actually kind of surprised. Let's try out the tone. Okay, so the tone knob brightens up a little bit more than I'd like, so I probably won't go over 12 o'clock. 5 out of 10. See if we can get kind of a, uh, uh, you know, like a like a real crunch. Not really. Boost. Let's try a boost. No gain. I've said in previous videos that Vintage 30s are good speakers, but they're eh. Like, you know, I like greenbacks, especially with myself. Uh, but, man, I gotta tell you, this sounds really good with the Vintage 30s. Uh, and the other thing I'm noticing, you guys are gonna hate me for saying this, this clean channel sounds just like my stealth. No bullshit. I'm telling you, this clean channel, man. <laughs> telling you okay yeah my stealth has a little more warmth going on but aside from that small amount of difference in the warmth I'm telling you this clean channel sounds pretty good that's not bad <laughs> all right all right I'll stop I'll stop messing around and turn the volume back down let's go to overdrive Gains at zero. Okay, 
so you kind of got like a little bit of a warm crunch going on. sudden like five in your five in your face <laughs> in some ways it does have a little bit of a muddy quality um, it's still not saturated enough for my personal taste so let's keep cranking the game until it pisses out we're at about five out of ten five out of ten i think i'm going to keep the tone where it works at experiment purposes I'm gonna crank the volume because some 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 guys on there on YouTube they're saying if you crank the volume it's almost like adding an internal boost or activating an internal boost almost like as if the tube isn't even working or being used until then we'll see I don't know I don't know <laughs> difference not enough to not enough to matter and you'll see what I mean in a second we're gonna keep cranking the game slowly <laughs> surprised about 
is that I have the game at, what, like 8 out of 10 right now? I mean, granted, the volume isn't that high. There's not a lot of uh, feedback. There's not a lot of static or, you know, white noise that's coming out of here, which I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. At. six out of ten um, I'm gonna try it with a boost with uh, just the tone at about four out of ten volume all the way up gain all the way down on the pedal Sounds pretty solid. It really does. Alright, so I did have to turn the, the tone up from about four to about five, five and a half, somewhere around there uh, out of 10. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind here. So I'm gonna stand up. Um, I might as well keep the noise gate on just for the fun of it. Uh, okay, you know what? Compressor, let's check out the compressor. difference with the compressor with the boost so let's try without the boost compressor is off right now the compressor really well now okay so next I'm gonna go and stand up because my dumb ass put the uh, the 10 band EQ behind the amp like a dumb ass so I'm going to try to finagle this and see what I can make happen all right let's see here oh that's not moving okay all right it's not moving so oh well <laughs> zero 
All right, it's zeroed out, but yet when I turn it on, it see it definitely is louder. I'm gonna keep the boost on too, though. Let's see if we can get this thing to sound like a friggin' dual rectifier boosted. Let's give it a try. k on a 10 band eq is almost like a presence control uh, actually it really is a presence control uh, so what else do we got i raised i turned the level down a little bit uh, let's see i also i mainly raised the mids out of out of the the two major things i did on the 10 band so far i've raised the mids and i've raised the 16k which is the presence control all right um Tone, dead center, gain just above half. I might even turn it down a little bit. Right now, volume's only at, what, like 3 out of 10? And boost is on. myself think uh, guys right now I got this on sale for 160 bucks like I wasn't even gonna have anyone send it to me I'm like I'm gonna buy it because it's a prime item and if I don't like it it's gonna go back cool thing about this I don't even have the foot switch hooked up but it actually comes with a guitar cable another cable that I'm assuming might be a speaker cable it's thin though um, so it's probably a speaker cable, but it's real short. Uh, the other thing is the power supply for this is it looks like a laptop charger. I mean, literally, it's, uh, you know, you got the block on one end, um, and it's a, uh, it's a uh, I think it's a center negative uh, barrel connector that goes in the back. Uh, but I can tell you right now, you know, as far as the, the, uh, the effects loop, um, no noise, no noise. 
effects loop is nice and quiet. Um, yeah, you still get a little bit of white noise, uh, but guys, like I'm critical about my high gain sounds, like really critical. And with the uh, with the boost and the um, the EQ and the loop with this thing, I think it sounds great. Really, I I don't I think I'm gonna be holding on. I'll be holding on to it. Uh, I don't have I. I don't have a way to connect my phone to the Bluetooth at the moment, so you know I, I didn't really buy it for that anyway. Um, so, but I mean, even if it works a little bit coming out of guitar speakers, whatever. Uh, but one thing I do want to mention here is that if you guys get something like a an eight ohm Boss Katana speaker cab, um, those are Hi-Fi speakers, which are made for modeling for if you connect, if you're gonna be connecting Bluetooth to this and you run it through a Gatana, uh, guitar amp cab, it's gonna sound great. It's gonna sound amazing because that's what those speakers are designed for, they're hi-fi, which means they cover more frequencies than your standard guitar speaker. Uh, so guys, keep that in mind. If, you, it, you know, if you're just looking even just for a spare, a used spare cab, dude, go on, you know, go on, I don't know, Guitar Center's website or or even look around on OfferUp or you know Marketplace for a Katana cab. You know, um, I'm an advocate of at least two speakers. I have to have at least a 212 cab or a 412, one of the two. Um, anyway, yeah, that would be a great option for you. Uh, you know, one thing that I was worried about is uh, using using a 16 ohm cab. I was wondering how hot this thing is going to get because um, you're basically working the amp a little harder. Um, for <laughs> less sound, uh, less volume, uh, but it seems to be just fine. Seems to be just fine. I may end up swapping out the 12AX7 tube, the one tube that's in it, uh, because I got a couple of molars that um, I might try one out in here just to see if it smooths things out anymore. Not like it really needs it, but it's worth a try. If it ends up changing the sound or the feel or anything, um, I'll post another video, but if you guys don't see another video about this, it's because it did make a difference. All right, uh, I don't like wasting time. I don't like wasting my time. I don't like wasting your time. Uh, but again, guys, great fucking. <laughs>